It's time to hack the movies. Today, we're talking about tapes. Talking about tapes. Johanna. Tony. You'll never believe it. All my financial troubles are over. I hit the jackpot. Doing what? I caught myself a leprechaun. And as is the leprechaun rules, he has to give me his pot of gold. He didn't. Oh, you don't believe me? Here, no. I'll show you the leprechaun right here. Here we go. I got him. Tony, that's the love of my life. That's my fiance, Ian. What? No, it's a leprechaun. Look, he's wearing the green and the hat. So this is a traditional Irish, like, groomsman outfit. I am was fitting for the wedding, and you just kind of, like, kidnapped me. Damn it! I thought I got a leprechaun. You want to join? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <sighs> well, that ruins everything. Not for me. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Well, <laughs> hello, hello, so, hello, Ian. Love, he'll get triggered. Oh, that's true. I'm sorry. Hi. Hello, Ian. How are you? I'm good, Tony. How about yourself? I'm sorry I didn't recognize you in the leprechaun outfit. I thought you were a leprechaun. I understand the troubles that you have. I also believe in leprechauns because I saw a video years ago of a bunch of inner city people claiming to see a leprechaun and I believe them. So ah, leprechauns are real. I agree with that. And I'm gonna find them one day. I'm gonna find them one day. Uh, speaking of leprechaun, <laughs> <sighs> every year on St. Patrick's Day, I review a leprechaun movie. Now I know what the fans are saying. Don't you usually do this with James? Where's James? Why isn't James in this? And I have a really good excuse. I forgot to ask him in time. <laughs> So, there you go. I just forgot to ask him. <laughs> but that's okay. I have Johanna and a guy the audience has never met, but who they're aware of. Yeah. I yes. exist. I'm, I'm in, the, in the realm. Now, before we jump into... I didn't make him up. <laughs> <laughs> Someone actually likes me. Well, let's, let's, uh, let's crack this open, this beer that Crystal threw in our refrigerator. Where's our beer? Haymaker... Haymakers... Haymaker. 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 Spindle Tap Brewery. Uh, Where's our beer? Is. It's St. Patrick's Day. Beer is traditional for the Irish folk. I fully agree with that. That's why I always stumble everywhere. <laughs> okay, okay, that's right. You want a beer, Ian? No, I'm okay, thank you. I like to be sober for my first you don't endeavor. Want, you, you want him to look like a stereotype? A little, yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, hmm. <laughs> before we dive, let's not talk about beer too much because that's bad podcasting. Now, let's talk about the beer. Leprechaun oh. series. <laughs> now, are you familiar with the rest of the Leprechaun movies? Yes, I actually am. So I have uh, seen one, two, never seen three, ah. uh, never seen four. Well, uh, until now. Until now. Yeah. Uh, but I have seen The Hood and Back to the Hood, which are cinematic masterpieces. <laughs> yes, a lot of people really like The Hood ones. It really speaks to me on a metaphysical level. Yeah, I mean... I, if you want to hear what I have to say about the rest of the series, we do have commentary tracks that we recorded years ago. Me and Johanna did two, two. together. Johanna, how many Leprechaun movies have you seen besides this one and two? I think I've seen every single one except for like the newer ones. You didn't see uh, Returns with the new guy? Mm -mm. You didn't see the awful origins, which shouldn't... No, I definitely... I did, that no, should I didn't see that. not count as a Leprechaun movie, but we'll get to that at another mm -hmm. point. Yeah, so Leprechaun 4, was this your first time seeing this one? No, I've seen this before, like, ages ago, but I never went back to rewatch and rewatching it now. And I'm like, hmm. You saw Leprechaun 4 before you saw Lake Placid. Hmm. Yeah. By the way, all at love Lake Placid. I've never right, seen Lake Placid. Right now, all the Lake Placids are on Tubi. So There's more than it. one? Yeah. And I would review the rest of them, except that episode didn't do well. And that's why I hate Betty White. Anyway. <sighs> R.I.P. Now. Leprechaun 4. Yes. Uh, returning director, Brian Trenchard Smith. Uh, he directed Leprechaun Smith. 3. Yes. A relation, perhaps? Are you related to Irish Australian guy? <laughs> Probably not. Okay. <laughs> uh, he directed Leprechaun 3 and BMX Bandits. Oh, my God. With Nicole Kidman before she was famous. That's probably a movie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like I said, he did Leprechaun 3, and I really like Leprechaun 3. That's where he's in Vegas. Oh, okay. I've never like, seen that one. That's the perfect place for Leprechaun to of be. Of course. And I love they're like, well, after Vegas, where, where where should we put him? And no one thought to say like, oh, well, Ireland. Someone went, no, space. 
It's like, oh, well, obviously space. Yeah, well, yeah of space. course. It was 1997. Where else can you go? <laughs> you would like the... Yeah. I probably would, yeah. So I was looking at like uh, the how they came up with this. Apparently, like the producers saw like Apollo 13, and like he put Warwick Davis's <laughs> face in front of like Tom Hanks on the poster, and they were like, "That's our next Leprechaun movie." Of course, genius, Is brilliant. This the first slasher to go to space. Did Hellraiser beat? I have to look up the dates. Jessica, whoever's editing, see what came out first: Hellraiser Bloodline or Leprechaun Four. One of them went to space first. Was there really never another space slasher before at least these two? Those two? That's crazy. Not that I can think of. Jason X did it better. I mean, correct. Jason X did do it better. I know Dracula made it to space at one point. Um, of course he did. <laughs> Dracula 3000, yeah. Mm. Not related to Dracula 2000. Two different <sighs> series. Uh, by the way, what do you think Dracula looks like in Dracula 3000? You think he looks like a cool like H.R. Giger alien monster? Uh, I would assume that he's probably Chrome. <laughs> uh, yeah, Chrome. That makes sense. No, he, you know, no, future. No, he's just regular Dracula. He's huh. running around on the ship with his cape and everything. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so is this. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, Leprechaun Four in space. Let's get into it. Now it starts off with amazing CGI. These asteroids yeah, flying I, around. I thought that they really committed and actually went to space and filmed this scene. It was so lifelike. If you had told me that this was NASA footage, I'd be like, I believe you. I believe you. Uh, because, like, the rocks are so fully detailed. I know. They're not smooth in the slightest. <laughs> not smooth in the slightest. It's real lifelike. What do you think, Johanna? What do you think about the uh, the space uh Tell me about the here? space smoothness. <laughs> so, it's so smooth. <laughs> no, uh, I thought the ship was very believable. The ship was yeah. very believable. It's like a dome. not early uh, PlayStation Two graphics at all. You know? <laughs> no, no, not at no. all, not at all. And it's like a big dome, like a cylinder, which I guess uh, is a reference to Dune, probably because they have those cylinder ships. Uh, go back and watch our Dune episode, um, or perhaps it's a reference to the the thing in Star Trek Four. You know, a lot of sci-fi stuff in this one. It's a very, very deep sci-fi film. Now, a bunch of space marines, they're preparing for a mission. <laughs> and one of them is Styx, played by... Hold on. Miguel Nunez Jr., who was Spider in Return of the Living Dead. He has to face a different Spider in this. Oh, yes. We'll get there. And uh, what other movie was he in? What did I tell you? <sighs> I, what did, I, I think it starts with the letter J. J. Is it? Is it... On the tip of my tongue. Ah, uh, Joe. You know what it is, Johanna? You're not supposed to be betraying me like this. <laughs> Johanna Man? Jo that, Can you not? <laughs> <laughs> I wish that movie never existed. That's a lie, and you Fuck know. Fuck you, it. that movie's great. <laughs> 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 yes, Johanna Man himself, Miguel Nunez Jr. He still wants to make a Johanna Man sequel. I know. It someone, someone should really tell him, like, hey, not in this climate. You might want to steer clear of this. <laughs> I told you the moment we saw him, I was like, oh, Tony's going to make so many Joanna Man jokes. <laughs> Literally, we watched it, and that was the first thing she said when she it's saw it. It's not my it fault. Joanna Man is so good. Okay. <laughs> uh, then there's another Marine. Uh, I have Costello. That's her last name, but I think they call her Dolores, uh, played by Debbie Dunning, who was Heidi from Home Improvement. I was actually pretty excited for that. Because <laughs> uh, we'll get to a scene that shows off her great acting skills yes. later. Uh, and I'm sad it didn't go all the way into acting, but yeah. I was a big fan of that one. I was, uh, when I was watching this recently, I was like, why do I, wh what is this actress? And I looked it up. I'm like, that's why she's so did familiar. Did you do the same? You yeah, like, I, did the I same know thing. her. Right? I was like, I know who this is. Because so it's I had to not pause like it. you don't think of Heidi from Home Improvement off the top of your head. But if you see her, you're like, I've seen this girl a million times. Yeah, so like, you see it, you're like, oh, it's Heidi. Space, Tim the Tool Man, Taylor. Like, come on. I know, I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> God. Uh. <laughs> Is that the rest of the review? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> and then we can't forget about the sergeant. Yes. So I was like, this sergeant looks relatively familiar. The guy with the metal head, of course. Um, Hooker. Hooker metalhead something. Something. I don't yeah. know. I just call him Sarge because he's a sergeant. Yeah. But he was in full metal jacket, like as an army guy. You told me that, and I totally missed that. Yeah. He was the guy that said, get some and ain't war hell or something. He was supposed to be what Ar Arlie Ermey was, but they were like, wow, Arlie Ermey's a good actor. <laughs> <laughs> I, how dare you? 
I think Hooker was really good in this. Now, would Arlie Wait, Ermy have been wasn't good? Wasn't he a real Marine too? Yeah, he was a real like, Marine too. Yeah. <laughs> I think Arlie Ermy would have been good in this movie. I think so. I mean, he ended up in a Texas Chainsaw movie. He could have eventually ended up in a Leprechaun movie. You don't know. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so some of the other Marines, like we said, uh, Sergeant Hooker. Is that a reference to the Sergeant Hooker from history that like paid women to sleep with his soldiers, and that's where the term hookers comes from? The, the Civil War guy? Yeah. Maybe. I might be wrong, but I think Johnny Bravo made a joke about that, where they imply like <laughs> Probably. Johnny Bravo's mom was in Hooker's regiment, and I'm like, that is a very risque joke. Anyway. The 90s were wild, man. The other soldiers are books who looks like Stallone, and if uh, IMDb- But his face is very long. Yes. If IMDb trivia is to be believed, they wanted him to do a Stallone accent throughout the film. Oh, I'm so happy he actually did not do that. They quickly (laughs) decided that that was probably not the best idea. (laughs) I would agree with that. He had a lazy eye, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Look at his- Stallone uh, has a lazy lip. Are they related? Maybe. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but he's Italian, and this is Leprechaun, so. What does that have to do with the guy Ireland uh there's O'Grady <laughs> Mooch uh Kowalski the name of the panda from Penguins of Madagascar yes and Lucky who turns out to not be very lucky oh, in this. how ironic uh so they are on a mission to kill an alien bastard in a mining colony who's apparently disrupted the mining operations and causing the I don't know the the Spacing Guild, the Spice Miners, the, <laughs> House, the, spice. Of, the spice House of, tra- House of Trades. Uh, they are House losing Harkonnen. billions of Solari on this. It was like, it was like $500 billion they're losing. Yeah. So uh, uh, throughout the whole movie, they never once refer to him as a leprechaun. And they never really, I love how the movie's just like, by the way, so we mentioned this in the other reviews, but in case this is your first leprechaun review, important thing to note, it's a different leprechaun every time. And people fight me on that. Wait, really? Yeah. What? People fight me on that. I'm like, no, there's too many continuity issues for it to be the same leprechaun. Yeah, but that would be funny. Yeah, well, the first movie, he's 500 years old, he says. The second movie, they flash back 200 years prior, and he says he's 1,000 years old. Oh. Leprechaun in the Hood, he gets turned to stone in the 70s. That's true. And doesn't wake up till 2000. And then Leprechaun Back to the Hood doesn't even follow up on the hood. It's just a different leprechaun. I mean, I don't... I don't really think they cared about continuity too much. And he's got different rules. That's fine. So I just think they're different leprechauns that all look alike. So yes, but I, what I like about this one, they decided how do we get, like a lot of times with these space movies, you got to figure out how do they get the monster to space? And this movie, they went, who cares? He's just there. <laughs> he was just there. Just already. there. Yeah. How did the leprechaun there. get there? Did he stow away on his, no. I was looking that up too. I was like, how did he? Get there. Did I miss something? <laughs> I guess in this leprechaun had so many adventures. He somehow made it to space. He's just in this cave on a random planet, a ra- random rocky planet, just living his life. He's just living his life still after gold. There's probably a lot of gold in space, to be honest. Yeah. That's true. That's where uh, most of our rare minerals are going to be yeah. in the future. If I was a leprechaun, I would want to go to space. I'm just, that's, that's, I, I mean, can't. I want to go to space in general, so. Now, only if I was a leprechaun. <laughs> no, nah, I needed to be like the Mass Effect universe where I can just like go. Oh my God, I know you want to have sex with the Velociraptor. Uh, that's also my fault, by the way. Sorry. I I was the one that introduced Johanna to Mass Effect. Mm-hmm. I have a Mass Effect tattoo. Oh. Yeah. I played Mass Effect once. Uh, I played it on mute because I didn't care about the story. That, oh my God. I got to the space station and since I wasn't paying attention to anything, I didn't know where I was supposed to go. And then I turned it off. And you I know, met. you could read the quest. Yeah, you could have gone into the drive. I was listening to the podcast during it, and then I, I never played it again. I hear it's good, though. It is. Great. Check it out if you can, like, can read. I'm way too busy, and video games are for children. That's I'm a man true. Now. Uh- <laughs> Hello. Touch me. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, Dr. Reeves, lady scientist. Oh, is there. yes, the lady scientist. The lady scientist. Big fan of hers. My, uh- uh, my favorite... I guess plot point for her character for me is how she slowly, slowly loses clothes over time of this whole movie. I thought that was essential to the character. Not really. Yeah, extremely. I thought that was very, very important. Mm. Um, Because, you know, she's vulnerable and the more clothes she leaves, the more vulnerable she is. That's why it's more uh, fulfilling when you see her overcome those odds. Yeah, showing the femininity. Yes. (laughs) 
It's in stark contrast to the Marines that are fully clothed, uh, but who then get killed. Um, <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yes. Uh, so Dying is manly. So Dr. Reeves, uh, she's there to get samples for Dr. Mittenham, who's a creepy cyborg guy, played by Guy Siner, I want to say his name is. And he had a small part in Pirates of the Caribbean. He's the guy when uh, Captain Jack Sparrow pulls up on the dock with the sunken ship. He, like, pays him off. Oh, yeah, he was in that film for maybe a quarter of a second. Yes. Wow. That's the only other movie I can remember him being in. Because huh. I'm like, wow, that's a big movie, Dr. Well, Van Well, see, seeing how much acting he did in this, I can understand that. Uh, seeing how much acting he did in this, I'm surprised he's not in a million movies. He is the best part of this film. <laughs> he is so fucking good. The movie could have just been about him. I, I think my favorite part, uh, and we'll, we'll get to his true reveal later, I suppose, uh, when he, he's only seen on like a TV screen. Yes. He only introduces like on a TV screen. Time. Yeah. And like, I always thought that, oh, maybe he's on another ship or something. But I was like, why? Why is it angled like so unflattering? Like, he looks like he has three chins and like, he looks like his <laughs> neck's spazzing. It's kind of a problem. Like, I think I was concerned for at least the first like 30 minutes. That Until I saw you him. met him. Until I met him and I was like, oh, OK, that's probably worse. Yeah. <laughs> probably so, worse. <laughs> <laughs> so Books and Reeves, they suit up and they have like a little moment. Uh, while they're on their totally real spaceship. Now, the spaceship coming out of the dock, it was beautiful. Like, when Stanley Kubrick made 2001 A Space Odyssey, I I think he imagined it looking like this. It, Instead, it, it, it took, looked like shit. Brian this Kendrick looks Smith. great. <laughs> What's wrong, Johanna? Nothing. <laughs> what did you think of the spaceship? It was beautiful. So, okay. So realistic. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Angel's voice sends pleasure to every part of my being. So then we meet Princess Zarina, played by Rebecca Carlton, who is Tracy from Baywatch. Oh. Uh, the okay. leprechaun intends to marry her to get her father's gold. What no. Is, no, I thought he wants royalty. No, he wants to be the king. He oh, wants to right, rule. Right, yeah, he wants to be the king. She wants the gold from him. Yeah, she, she wants the gold from him. You're right, I confused it. To, to quote uh, a, to quote my muse Yeezy, um, she a gold digger. Ah, I, it's, it's nice to have a fellow. Oh, you're sleeping on the couch. I think you, <laughs> I think you agree. 2020, he should have won. <sighs> not, not saying who I voted for, but. Well, I know, I know someone would disagree with us. They had someone, they had his friend. Yeah. She was missing for like a whole day in January. I don't know what that was about. Yeah. <laughs> Where were you in January? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> not uh, Washington D.C. <laughs> <laughs> Our oh guy God. was friends with your guy. I thought you'd be more open to it. Yeah. Anyway, all right. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So he's bribing her with gold because the king is poor. Yeah, he's the king, but he cares about his people so much. Yeah, he's yeah, too he's nice. Giving all his wealth. To yes, the poor and people. this upsets her because she wants nice clothes. Yeah, she's like, she's like, I don't but, care about the the poor. Well, but she also like. Didn't agree with the leprechaun because the leprechaun was saying it was a waste. But he, yeah. he was also saying, or she was saying that like her dad was a good person. But then she realized like, oh, I can get nicer things if I'm with this guy. Because what is the Simpsons quote? I don't, I don't know. The uh, money can be exchanged for goods and services. Whatever. Oh, <laughs> what do I, say? Uh, I say it all the time. Uh, oh, I would like to exchange you currency for goods and services or something, something like that. Like Whatever that. it is. But he like he turns his the the meal that he has prepared for her into a bunch of jewels, and then she's yes. like, "Okay, now you're yeah. speaking my language." Yeah, she's totally into it. Now she's like, "Yeah, kill it's my." Like, you're ugly. Yeah, do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> uh, by the way, this whole time he's dressed like a proper fancy gentleman, like kind of like me. Yes. Hey, yes. Traditional Irish garb, <laughs> space, space Ireland. And he's talking like really nice. He's like, hello, my dear, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, wow, he's really- They're just in there vibing together, by the way, minding their business. I had a good feeling about these two. I'm upset how the movie eventually ends, but I had a good feeling about them. Uh, the Marines do a prayer because this movie is very religious. Uh, and I, I think you can agree, religious people would probably love this movie. Um, and we get the backstory of how the Sergeant got his metal head. He apparently was saving books from not not books the, 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 the guy books, books right? saving books <laughs> he's like I love my books so much <laughs> the library of Alexandria oh the goodness. art of the deal <laughs> Johanna's favorite art anyway. of the deal um, <laughs> so <laughs> he was saving books and he got hit with something but he still yeah, carried him <laughs> no 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 yeah that's for the real <laughs> we'll, we'll uh, he carried him all the way with a broken head 
and then they gave him a metal plate. So my, my favorite part about that whole moment of them like describing, because because Reeves like, what's up with the head? She yeah. literally asked, why is his head metal? Uh, he's probably sitting as far away from her as you are from me right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that whole and he's like, he's like this. And she's like, yeah, and she's just like, What's up with this metal head? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not even like trying What's to What's up with whisper. this weird metal head? <laughs> and it's like, wow, you could have, you could he might be self conscious. You don't know. It's, yeah. yeah it's a it's, it'd be like, oh my God, that guy over there has vagina eyes. <laughs> it'd be like that. Wow. <laughs> okay. That, that's for the art of the deal. I'll mm -hmm. give you that. Yeah. I'll yeah. Give you that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, let me see here. Uh, <laughs> Well, like, uh, then, then they land on the oh, planet, right? The alien planet yeah. is so lifelike. <laughs> it's better than Star Trek and Star Wars. James Cameron spends billions of dollars creating all this technology and computer-generated imagery to make Avatar World, which I'm sure has a name. <laughs> Looks like shit compared to this. Like that, I felt like I was on this planet. How about you? Oh, my gosh. As soon as I saw the pan out. Yeah. And then I saw, like, multi-layering. I was like, wow. And what about that monster that showed up for a second? That real tentacle monster. Oh, the monster. real tentacle monster that the... I don't even know who shot him. It was one of the guys. <laughs> one of the disposable marine That man. was a really cool monster. Um, I guarantee you it wasn't just something they had around their effects warehouse. <laughs> it wasn't just a random slug. It wasn't a random slug creature. <laughs> was, the, was the slug working for the leprechaun? I don't know. Joanna, what do you think? This planet has nothing on Pandora. What's Pandora? That's the Avatar world. Oh! Uh, if I recall correctly, uh, when we were in Pandora, the world of Avatar, mm -hmm. you said, all right, let's leave. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it was in Disney World. That part's boring. <laughs> There's literally nothing going now, on there. Now, if they get rid of it and they make it Leprechaun 4 World. I'd be there 24-7. <laughs> Galaxy's you, Edge where? Why would you ever leave? Look, Animal look. Kingdom would become my favorite park. <laughs> there, there is like a solid chance that Disney owns this somehow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I want to say like, uh, if uh, what's the what's the hotel that our friend Vito makes 10,000 videos about every day? The Star, the Star Wars, Wars Hotel? Oh, Gala uh, Galactic, Galactic Star, Star Cruiser? Cruiser? Yeah. yeah. The yeah, they should repurpose that into the Leprechaun 4 oh, Star Oh, whatever Cruiser. they're doing, yeah. <laughs> Imagine, cool. it's just a normal hotel, but it's space-themed, and occasionally a Leprechaun runs into your room. <laughs> 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 While you're sleeping, you're like, ah! <laughs> I'd be doing that every night. I'd be like, oh, it's just Ian. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh. Um... <laughs> So the leprechaun uh, convinces the princess to side with him by belittling. Let me. I the the what? <laughs> 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 the leprechaun convinces the princess to side with him by belittling her dad, and this works because women love asshole guys who shit on their dad. That's true. They nice don't. guys finish last. Can you wait? You know I what's wish. real messed up? Ian, Ian. You know what's real messed up? He's initiating this wedding. He never even asked for the dad's permission. That's true. That's he's a bad guy. That's he's true. He's a very bad guy. I'm I think we can all dad. agree with that. I'm calling my dad. <laughs> uh, I did ask Tony's my phone's permission. Over there. Yeah, you asked my permission. <laughs> <laughs> Which you're lucky I granted. I really am. I'm glad that you're here. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that I found you guys true love, right? I hate everything. Right? I'm the one who brought I, I do say at least once a day that if it wasn't for Tony from Hack the Movies, we would not be together. Exactly. Exactly. And I kept you- And, and binge drinking in Boston, Massachusetts, that's <laughs> yeah. And I kept you guys together. There was a, there was a- Actually, I would like to thank Justin Silverman. No. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna he's throw, I'm, actually the reason. I'm gonna throw Tony under the bus a little bit. A couple weeks after we started dating, uh, I get a message on Facebook that's, hey, uh, if you ever break up, let me know. I know how to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You, I you had the that. exit plan. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I actually, I helped keep you guys together because in Detroit, it turns out at one point we were in a van. I don't want to say who, but we were in a van with a known home wrecker. And I sat next to her <laughs> instead of Ian next to her. And now that we know that she wrecks homes, I shielded you 
from her home wrecking us. Oh, and by I the was way, sitting right behind her, by the way. I could would have been like <laughs> But but you know I'll show you wrestling. <laughs> you know, I was there to distract her. Oh uh -huh. my god. Uh, she completely ignored you. She she was literally on her phone the entire time, like who the fuck are these? Oh people? my Lanta. Well, because I didn't have a lady with me and she's like not interested. Also, I want to make a great segue into Detroit. Yeah. Uh when they land on the planet. Real vacation spot. I've seen worse. You ever been to Detroit? Implying that Earth is still terrible. That's a classic joke. That's a joke in a ton of movies because Detroit. I, I know Detroit might look like a utopia now, That's but true. apparently it was really bad in the 70s and 80s. Uh, yes. So they're down there now. Uh, the Marines <laughs> invade the mine and Warwick Davis finally gets to use a lightsaber. He's in how many Star Wars movies now? He's in. He's a Return of the Jedi. Phantom Menace, Solo. I'm sure he's Force Awakens with someone else. So I forgot Solo. And existed. Rise of Skywalker. He's in a bunch of these movies. Never gets a lightsaber. Who was he in Rise? Rise of Skywalker. He was Wicked again. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And then, sorry, that movie. Like I watched it and it just went. Eh. Yeah, because you Did drank a ton before. I remember the porgs. <laughs> they were there for one minute. She bought a new one. I did. I, I, Target just, I love Ford that. Merch. I love that we now have you on camera with so much like defeat in your voice going. She bought a new one. I don't have space in my bed. <laughs> They're not even in the bed. <laughs> like, I know. I don't even sleep yeah, in the bed. He, he gets the lightsaber. And who who did he kill? Uh, I think he killed was, Lucky. Lucky. Yeah. Lucky. How, how unlucky. Yeah. I made that joke earlier. Yuck. <laughs> I made I made a joke about his name earlier. No, you didn't. I did it again. You plagiarized my joke. Anyway, keep going. Jeez. And he gets the lightsaber. And it's actually his cane, which I thought was actually kind of cool. His shillelagh. That's true. Check huh? out the shillelagh. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. But I, I thought that was actually pretty neat how they like yeah. blended it in. I was like, oh, that's cool. I mean, you kind of have to. You kind of have to give him a lightsaber in space. And then we never see it again. All right. No, no, <laughs> never again. Uh, the leprechaun explodes. Lean, in, lean it the other way. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I can tell. Here you go. Fucking lightsaber. <sighs> Have my oh, lightsaber. Really lightsaber. Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? This is a family this show. This is a family <laughs> show. Leprechaun brings families together, okay? We don't need your perverse shit in here. And we're talking about a man dying. Yes. Via lightsaber. Yes. yes he should. Wow. Poor Lucky. Anyway. Um. <laughs> <laughs> So, Lucky the leprechaun realizes the princess is in danger, and he's such an heroic person. He <laughs> jumps on a grenade to protect her, and he blows up. Uh, I, I actually really, like, when I thought that, I genuinely thought that was noble. That was. I mean, it's to protect his interest, but, you know. That's fine. Uh, but, yeah, she loses a hand somehow. somehow. Probably, probably the grenade, like, blew it but off But, like, when very you see cleanly. the explosion behind her and her jumping, it's like, how did they hit? Anyway. Whatever. Um... Reasons. So, what's his face? Uh, was it Kowalski? He decides. It was Kowalski, yeah. Yeah, he decides I need to pee on the dead leprechaun because that's a thing he does. That's a thing to do apparently on dead bodies. And yes. the Sarge is like, "Great, go for it." Yes, I'm like, that's. I don't think they teach that in the Marines. And then we see electric green energy shoot into his dick, and you think, by the way. Green energy shoots into my dick. I'm stopping everything. I'm like, guys, green energy just shot Dude, into my dick. That's his just... reaction to that was the funniest fucking what thing I've I ever do? seen. Because we're just sitting there, we're watching it, and he starts peeing, and then he's like, no, no, and I'm like, yes, <laughs> no, and then it happens. He's like, did he just, did he just go up in his dick? Did yeah. he just go in his dick? <laughs> yeah. He was having like a meltdown. And I, I love it. the leprechaun's head is still there, and it like wakes up, and it's like, ha ha. Oh I yeah, guess, he like winks. Even can, though his soul technically went in the guy's dick, but I guess the head can just he do whatever. He can regrow pieces of his body. Which leads to my theory Ooh. that it's multiple leprechauns. <laughs> they just break apart or he has kids and they all just look, a, look the same. Very strong genes. Yes. Back on the ship, we meet creepy Harold. He's terrible. He's so creepy. He's I, so creepy. Like, I, I understand the nerd scientist trope of they're like kind of creepy and it's like an Igor. Yeah. Master. But he's like yeah. <laughs> he's kinda he's so creepy. He's talking about peepees and peepees <laughs> stuff. Oh, I'm trying to peepees and stuff. So he, he gets time. annoyed with Reeves. <laughs> he gets annoyed with Reeves because she's talking about how it's a princess or whatever. He's like, whatever, I gotta show the shrinking ray to the sergeant. <laughs> yeah. And he shrinks like a giant block of gold down into like a little 
little pebble. Which, that's cool. I like yeah, that. Yeah, and then he enlarges it. And this is foreshadowing for later. What? What? Anyway. Um, <laughs> so the Marines are all partying. They have a party room where they party. I, I did enjoy the fact that on this spaceship with science, technology, yeah. they were like, we need a disco ball. It's weird that there's only five people in the room and two are like dry humping on the floor. And the other four are just getting drunk. Yeah, yeah. that'd be like, imagine <laughs> two people drunk. dancing there and it's just like, can you guys like go somewhere else? They do. They do. <laughs> they do. Kowalski and Dolores, they go somewhere else uh, to fool around. And my favorite part about this is Kowalski says, let's go somewhere else. And Dolores is like, oh, won't they notice? And he's like, nah, they're too drunk to notice. And they're just sitting there like, punching each other, and as soon as they leave, they all start barking at him. Where are you kids going, huh? Yeah, how could they not notice? There's five people in yeah. the room. Like, we would notice if someone left. Uh, yeah, so they're uh, they're making out. We get to see a lot of her acting. Did you like her acting in the scene? I wish I got to see more acting. I wish we got to see more of her acting, too. Uh, but in a scene that I think tops the chest bursting scene in Alien. <laughs> We that get one. the famous dick bursting scene with the leprechaun. Let that be a lesson to you, lad. Always wear a prophylactic. Uh, and I love the whole time the girl's like, what did I do? What did I do? Like, what could you have possibly done to make the guy's <laughs> dick grow like he, And he's in tremendous pain this He's like, ah! And, and she's Why like, was there oh, no stop. blood? There's no blood yeah. in the penis. They spent that money. No, that's a lie. <laughs> you know why there's no blood? They spent that money on the wire to lift Warwick Davis up that you can clearly see when he jumps across oh the room. Oh my God. Uh, but yeah, no, I think it's way more terrifying than Alien because Alien came out of a chest. But imagine. Is this a new fear for you? Yes. It's like the eyeball, now your penis. Yes, I'm afraid of getting stabbed to the eye and leprechauns coming out of my dick. <laughs> Ian, please that's... back up a little bit. <laughs> that's a valid concern. I agree. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up in a cold sweat in the middle of the night and yeah. I have to check. But it's more intense because, see, when the alien broke out of the guy, it just ran away. The leprechaun comes out and starts making fun of them. But he also teaches a lesson on safe sex. He says, always wear a prophylactic. And I, you know what? I watched this movie as a kid. And that's when I was like, you know what? I got to start taking this seriously. Did you even know what a prophylactic was when you were a kid? I mean, I knew what a condom was. I didn't know what the word prophylactic <laughs> was. But but I pieced it together he, eventually. You figured it out once you uh, watched it yesterday. <laughs> like, that's what that means? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. The leprechaun in this movie, I feel like Warwick Davis is like, I really want to show a bunch of range in this film. And they were like, but you're a leprechaun. I was like, no, I want to show a lot of range. I'm like, yeah, but you're a leprechaun. He's like, no, I'm going to do a John Wayne accent. Hold it right there, pilgrim. I'm not going to hurt you. Nah, the hell I'm not. <laughs> so he turns into a cow. So the leprechaun in space turns into a cowboy. Pilgrim. That is a sentence I never thought I would have said in a million years. The leprechaun turns into a cow. The leprechaun in space turns into well, a cowboy. Well, he shoots the gun out of her hand, yeah. and then he says whatever did, the hell Did you he... notice he has a little sheriff yeah, badge? Yeah, sheriff mm -hmm. badge. He's like, I'm not gonna hurt you. Fail, no, Grum. I'm not gonna hurt the hell I ain't. Oh, my God. Uh, and he also likes to monologue. For, I mean, he monologued in the other movies, but randomly throughout this film, they will just cut to him, like, doing a Shakespearean monologue. Yeah. He probably He's, was like, you know what? This movie's already ridiculous. We're in freaking space. I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want. And he did. They, they were probably like, and we need did. to fill this hour, 40 minute runtime with something. You think he asked the writers, how did I get the space? They're like, we don't know. He was probably just vibing. <laughs> I wish he had something cyborg-y about him. After spending so much time in the hood, he vibed all the way in. <laughs> Actually, it's the other way around. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, this is in the future, 2096. I should have been 2069. Actually, I think the cover... Nice. That actually would have been pretty funny. <laughs> the cover for this movie makes it look like it's like on the moon. It's got like a lunar lander and whatnot. And I thought that's what it was going to be when I would see this in like blockbusters as a kid. And then I watched the movie and I was like, I did not expect this. I did not expect. No, they like they make up their own planet names and it's yeah. I I, I didn't retain it. Dominia. Dominia. Yeah. But like, 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 sorry, I know we're going backwards. Like, if I had to, if someone said make Leprechaun in space. I'd be like, okay, uh, the, the astronauts are like, we found a gold deposit on the moon and the leprechaun hears it and he sneaks aboard the NASA spaceship and then he beats everyone up. 
I that's never, that just beats them up. Yeah, <laughs> I would have never in a million years came up with well, the Princess Serena from the Galactic Dominia is interrupting my like I would have never came up with this. It's amazing. Yeah, what is with the politics stuff in there all of a sudden too? I'm, like, oh yeah, we can't harm her because they, blah blah blah. The politics. They you know, they really wanted to hit hard the socioeconomics of. But there's a lot of that in there's a lot of that in Star Trek. And you know, they were like probably were like, you know, like remember Star Trek Six when they had to deal with the Klingons yeah, uh, nice. coming into the Federation. Yeah, I'm sure exactly that yeah. And that's and what like, and like, I bet you I bet you George Lucas watched this and he's like, you know, the political angle of the <laughs> space drama. I really now that I'm writing Phantom Menace, I really gotta focus on that's that. That's true, aspect. this did come out first. It this did come out it first. <laughs> He's like, right after I get... There was already a political drama in the original Star Wars. What the hell are you talking about? He went a little further in the prequel. That's true. But yeah. yeah. I got to learn all about trade regulations. Yeah, and as this is coming out, you know, he's ruining the original movies. He's about to ruin the prequel. <laughs> uh, uh, let me see here. Oh, so we find out that Books is more than just a Marine. That's true. He's a smart guy. He's got brains and brawn. He's got feelings. And this is kind of like Rip. This is kind of like Ripley and Hicks, I guess. I said that too. So no, you said Ripley was more of uh, the other girl. Heidi. Yeah, because when we first saw her, she was yeah. all like, "I'm badass." I'm like, "Oh, is that supposed to be the Ripley?" Yeah, who's then, this girl? This girl's not really Ripley. No, she's kind of like just a no, sign but it's it's like your it's like your typical like mm. uh, brain and beauty yeah. type of thing. Yeah, but they they kind of like each other a little bit. Yeah, they got they got the stares going on. And they got the stares. Like they we, stare at each other a lot. Look at each other. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's a moment. This is what love looks like. Yeah. I wouldn't know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> damn. Then we get the creepiest <laughs> moment in the film. Oh my god, I, I I was actually very uncomfortable watching this. Harold is a creepy foot fetish guy. He's also into yep. knees. Yeah, he's more than feet. Yeah, yeah there's lots so of he, body parts. So he like undresses the princess and he just starts sniffing her feet. Uh, and then he's looking at her legs. He's like, oh, those knees. He like literally says like those knees. Oh, look at those knees. Though. I'm like, I've never looked at a woman's knees that were like, yeah, yeah. Well, why do you think they, this is they it have me. to have the skirts below the knees? We, we turn into Harold. That's right. That's right. I'm going to try that. I'm going to go around and just be like, hey, girl, I like your knees. <laughs> Try that, guys. Go up to a girl and say you like their knees. I'm sure they'll love it. I'm You're going to sure. get a restraining order? Do not do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Dr. Mittenhan catches him. Yeah, you, you, you just see like <laughs> the, the you see the whole slide. TV monitor just slide over. <laughs> and you just see his face like not blinking. It's, it's literally, it's literally. <laughs> <laughs> While this guy is fucking like, I don't He's know. He's like sniffing, sniffing this girl's her knees. and licking her. <laughs> Uh, this is also where you find out she can like regenerate, so her hands are growing back, um, just like the leprechaun. Much like the wow. leprechaun. <laughs> They're really made for each other. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes, uh, the leprechaun is running amok. They're trying to find him. Uh, he escapes into the waste area, which has flesh-eating bacteria. And they have to go in to get him. <laughs> and it goes about as well as you'd expect. Cut to the death. Books, are you all right? It's Mooch. Not a plastic skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. My favorite part about this whole scene, uh, outside of like the plastic skeleton. Yes. Uh, they were just going to go in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Metalhead's like, get in there. It's like, there's flesh-eating bacteria. And it, it, it takes Reeves being like, I have to be there because this is the waste. They will die. Yeah. So he's like, ah, fine. <laughs> but you're staying at the door. It's like me being like, Ian, it went into the lava room. Go in there. And you're like, well, it's well, it's the lava room. I don't want to go in the lava room. <laughs> and then... It's like, surely you guys know what flesh-eating bacteria is, right? This isn't like a foreign concept. And why can they just throw the leprechaun in there? Because he also had a suit that would protect him yeah, from where the flesh-eating bacteria. How he had a leprechaun-sized flesh-eating Oh, yeah, he had a leprechaun-sized suit. 
Well, you know, there could have been a little person on the staff at some point. I'm sure it's required. He went and he got a suit and then he shrunk it down because of that. You know that. But he didn't know. He has magic. Thing happened yet. No, he he just knew. He just knew that's how it there's there, there's two things. <laughs> He's either magic and shrunk it down. Or the spaceship is very progressive and they made sure that there would be a little suit for a little person mm -hmm. at some point. I'm pretty sure that is an OSHA regulation. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Hooker confronts Mittenhand in office. By the way, this is like the opposite of every other space marine thing where they're like, we got to kill him. We got to do this. Oh, Hook yeah, they're just like, Let's Hooker and his thing. friends are in his office, which for some reason has mannequins everywhere. And they're <laughs> like, they're like, we want to leave. And it's like, but he wants the princess. And they're like, yeah, let's give her to him. Like, we just had to get him out of the mine. We don't care about the rest of this shit. I'm like, we're done in a few hours. Yeah. They have it. Our contract is up. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen a movie where they were just like, we're the toughest Marines and we want to go home. Good luck with all that. Bye. I mean, <laughs> get money, get paid, as they say. Yeah. Uh, but yes, Dr. Mittenhan finally reveals himself. And the effect is incredible. This, this was... 1930s Wizard of Oz level of effect in terms of like <laughs> he quotes but he also of does Oz. say the Wizard of Oz because yeah. literally he comes behind the wall yeah and um, but no the the homie's effect, a Hot Wheel huh homie's a Hot Wheel yes I like I like the effect of uh, the actor <laughs> Hot Wheel. yeah the effect of the actor in the suit uh mixed with a reverse shot of the animatronic oh, seamless <laughs> seamless I didn't know it was an animatronic. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, oh, those are two different things. That I'm like, so this good. is incredible. You know, the 90s were really the golden era of special effects. Titanic, Jurassic Park, Leprechaun 4 in space. You know, you get all the all the greats the, in the, there. The trifecta. The trifecta, really. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Titanic, Jurassic Park, Leprechaun in space. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's, that's one A, B, and C. And of course, this is the best one. This is the gold. This should be at the top of, of course. the triangle. Absolutely. <laughs> But yeah, he eventually uh, convinces them uh, that uh, they need to stay and he'll give them a bonus of whatever profits they make. Yeah, off it, of was, it was like 3% or something. Yeah, it's like nothing. Something. And like, well, well, if it's like, all right, so I, I do like percentages and stuff for a living. That's part yeah. of what I do for a job. Yes. Um, 3%, depending on what it is, can be some buku bucks. Like yeah. if, it's, if it's 3% of a billion dollars, it's still like, like $30 million. That's a good payday. 3% of the net, not the gross. Ah, true. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was uh, also inspiration for Phantom Menace. <laughs> uh, other other trade oh negotiation. Trade package. negotiation. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, one last thing about this scene. The star field behind, uh, the star field behind Dr. Mittenhand, seamless. It reminds me of how they do it on Mandalorian, how they have had the big LED screen instead of a green screen. It's the same idea, only it was lights in a blanket. And it looks like just a, like space. That might be the first nice thing I've ever heard you say about The Mandalorian. Well, I, I just said that a movie from 1997 did better effects than it, so. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> what were you saying? I was just saying, uh, it's like Rise of the Resistance, you know, when we get off and all the stormtroopers are there and there's that big screen or That's whatever. That's true. Leprechaun 4 surpasses it. It oh, yeah. Beautiful. Now, now. Leprechaun 4 Rise of the Lepsistics. Shillelis? <laughs> <laughs> leprechaun 4 the Rise of the Shillelis. You can go to the Leprechaun 4 Hotel, go on Leprechaun's Edge, and then you can go. Wait! Wait, no! You can, no, you can, build, you can build your own. Wait, wait, That's wait, out wait. of context. Wait, wait, wait. Build your own shillelagh instead of a lightsaber. <laughs> Disney, hit us up, Leprechaun <laughs> 4 World. It's waiting for you. There there are dozens of dollars to be made. If not, we'll go to Universal with Leprechaun Hood World. They'll, they'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> We're go we want Disney. You already have the space stuff. Oh no one gives Lanta. a shit about Star Wars anymore. You switch out the Leprechaun 4. If not, we're going to Universal <laughs> Studios. We're making Leprechaun Hood World. <laughs> Leprechaun Hood World. It's just, it's just a city street, but there's a Leprechaun walking around. Jeez. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so. Christ. Whew. Oh, during this time, the leprechaun decides that he doesn't want to share his wealth. I'll wet her, bet her, and bury her all in the same day. <laughs> Another monologue. Another monologue. He's like, I'll share it with her. He's like, share? Ew. 
I'm gonna kill her after I marry her. He's like, I'm gonna wait he gets the title. to kill her. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Co-host of Pack the Movies after that. <laughs> Hello. Ow. <laughs> so this is the most emotional scene. Dolores is very upset about uh, her oh, boyfriend yeah. dying, and she feels responsible for his death. And she yeah, says, no weapons over "She here. says I'm the one who gave him the boner after all." And Sergeant Hooker goes. Forget about it. Kowalski would have wanted it that way. So that also implies if he just stayed celibate on the path of God. Yes. Because uh, he was unwed. Uh, this whole movie would have never happened. Yeah. The leprechaun would have been stuck in his dick so, forever. So I think the moral <laughs> of the story is premarital sex does kill. Yes. Which yes. is why they're so religious. But I also like that, uh, what you call it? The sergeant is like, I if I die, I want to be at full attention. And then she looks at him <laughs> like she's considering banging the sergeant. Like right after she was confessing, she feels guilty for her boyfriend's death. That's when you know what? Never trust women. As much as they say they love you, they will turn on you and sleep with a metalhead guy. Keep an eye out. Anyway, uh, the leprechaun <laughs> marines, they fight each other around the ship. I like that he puts on a safety video for Danny Boy. And then he yeah. sings Danny Boy to him. I, I was like, the whole time I wanted more Irish references just because I thought it'd be funny. I don't even care if they talk about Ireland. Yeah. This is like the first one. Yeah, I bet you the writers were like, hey, he's known for making a bunch of Irish jokes. Do you have any in there? And they were like looking at the spaceship set. They're like, fuck, how do I work? How do I work this in there? Danny Boy. Yeah. The safety video, though, reminds me of the previous movie uh, in Vegas where the TV's playing. And like at one point, he's like a fortune teller. And then he's something else, and I think they just wanted to redo that. But yeah, he's like cutting off his fingers and whatnot. Uh, but he agrees to be friends with him, but then he smashes him with a bunch of crates. Simply smashing. That was a good fucking pun. That was a good pun. Uh, then we hear Mittenhand's sad backstory, and I actually love this when he's talking to Harold. <laughs> he's like, I was going to be the first computer inside an organic body. <laughs> I like Harold's like, oh, did it not work? And he's like, oh no, it worked out well. And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And, then, and I, I, I really, I, I hate how Harold is a sniveling bitch. Yeah. Like, he's like sucking up to this guy so yeah. hard, and it's like, what is he gonna give you? <laughs> like, what Nothing. can he do? I do like when he's talking about how he's gonna be, he's gonna fix his body with her, with the regeneration, her, her DNA yeah. and whatnot. He's I going like how her whole... blood's blue too, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And he's going on this whole like speech, and then Harold's just like, cool. Like, he's like barely <laughs> he's paying like, attention. He's like not making that. He's like spacing out. Cool. He's like looking up in the air, and he's like, cool. <laughs> uh, so I don't understand. Are the Marines stupid? In the movie, not in real life. Thank you for your service. Uh, in the movie, uh, Heidi from Home Improvement, <laughs> that's just her name now, she blows <laughs> up the leprechaun. Yeah, she shoots him, which like, yeah. great. But you already saw him regenerate. That's what I said. I'm like, and they're celebrating. It's like, but wait, guys, you were just make sure he doesn't electrify himself into her penis. Make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> no, I'll go in her boobs. <laughs> or in her boobs. Yeah, milk her out. Oh my god. <laughs> I like how you motioned too. <laughs> what was that? Oh well, well, I'm sorry, Johanna, are you stabbing someone? What what is yeah. that? <laughs> I agree with Johanna's stabbing motions, by the way. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> We're not stabbing. You can't go I... like this. That's so uncomfortable for my wrist. I don't want to carpal tunnel while I'm killing like people. This. I can't go like this. That's not what she was doing this. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. No. Okay, all right, but you're going like this. You're not. Well, you got to go multiple times. I've never seen someone go up to someone and be like, stick your hands up. Obviously, I like, wouldn't uh, go like this. Like, what? I'm gonna get you. If we don't, if you don't it's, it's know, idol pose. If you don't know what <laughs> we're referring yeah. in a fighting game, I'm like this. <laughs> if you don't know what we're referring to, go back and watch our Lake Placid episode that you guys didn't watch. To find out. <laughs> How what dare that you? Is. It's such a good episode, and it's a good movie. And watch the Midsummer episode, you jerks. It was for Johanna's birthday, it and was. I al I also watched that with her for the first time for that, and I liked it. That's good. I still haven't watched. I have. I think the review's great too. I love the end of it too. I, I have it now, but I haven't watched it yet. The uh, the extended cut. You should do a commentary. On the extended cut. Yeah. No, that'd be way too hard. Terrible. Because you have to special order it from the. It's going to be hard for people to access. That's ah, fine. Anyway, Maybe the book. It's actually a really it. good DVD though. Like good packaging and whatnot. I'll bring it in. You can look at the pictures. Cool. Really so nice. I can steal it. No. Yes. 
Anyway, oh yeah, Heidi yeah. celebrates blowing up the leprechaun, even though they should know that doesn't work. And the leprechaun uh, kills her. He like throws her over the railing and then like lifts up her like, fingers. And by the way, amazing finger strength. She was she was literally yeah, holding her shovel like by like this. one finger. I'm like, wow. Fucking Heidi, great, killing it. Great strength. I need to learn that routine. <laughs> unfortunately, it doesn't last. Yeah. And she falls to her death. Yeah. And unfortunately, she falls before we get to see her full acting potential. Uh, what a waste. Harold gets tricked by the leprechaun because he thinks Dr. Reeves is out there naked. Which, like, if you're going to trick the creepy perv guy, that's the best way to do it. That's the way to do it. But she's like, help me. They took all my clothes off. And he's like, I got to help her. Yeah. And like, didn't even question it. Yeah. Just went right for it. Very noble, but yes. also have underlying senses of uh, wrongness. Yes. Wrongness. Wrongness. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's a pervert. Uh, My favorite part about that is when he goes to open the door. It literally just cuts to the fake Reeves, turns to the camera. And it's just Warwick Davidson voice. And yeah. like, oh. oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved my life. Oh, yeah. She's talking to the camera like, thank you. Thank you. You saved my life. And then he goes, ah. I'm like, who's the leprechaun <laughs> trying to be that? sexy? I know the leprechaun is talking to the camera. That's like his thing. But I'm just like, what if what if that guy was still watching? He'd be like, why did she <laughs> turn her head into the hallway? <laughs> Who's oh she talking to? Oh, my God. To? Um. Yes, so uh, Leprechaun and Mittenhand meet up. This is after he beats up uh, Harold. They mock each other a little bit, and then Mittenhand's trying to distract him so Harold can stab him with the shillelagh. With the shillelagh, which, which uh, has a blade now. Which he did hit uh, Harold in the penis. Yes. With the shillelagh, like a nice little. Yeah. But then he left the shillelagh down, which now <laughs> has a blade instead of a lightsaber. I guess the lightsaber one stayed on the planet. I, I think it was left on the planet. We ran out of budget. Yes. Yes. Uh, so he's like sneaking up on the leprechaun. He stabs him, but it doesn't work because, of course, it doesn't. And the coolest death in the movie, Harold's face gets pancaked. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. The special, the <laughs> yeah. practical effect or whatever, I guess. How yeah. fucking cool was that? Yeah, I actually enjoyed that. That like, was awesome. Like, that was genuinely like the best part. And I know how they did it. Like they have his head in the wall. So that, yeah, it was yeah. really cool. But I like how he's like still looking around. <laughs> Um, yeah, super, super realistic. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me see here. Oh, yeah, the, the thing leprechaun. could never. Huh? The thing could never. <laughs> the thing, I have a joke about the thing later. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the leprechaun then puts uh, the princess DNA and spiders and scorpions yep. into a blender and injects it into Mittenhand's head. By the way, no yeah, insects like, were harmed in the making of this film. That's true. Good. At the end of the film, they have the American Humane Society specifically talk about how none of the insects, like the spiders and the uh, well, that's good. scorpions. Same can't be said with other movies. You know, Predator, they actually killed that scorpion. Predator the 13th, they killed the freaking they snake. They killed the snake. Oh, really? Apocalypse Now, they killed that cow. Got a lot of movies to ban. Yeah. What other movies do they kill? Well, Cannibal Holocaust. That's well, that's that's, please, that's, that's, please, that's, that's, please. that's 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 its own thing. Yes. Let's that, let, let's continue. <laughs> Trish, Trisha won't watch Cannibal Holocaust. I wonder why. Gee. They actually make versions of that movie minus the animal killing. <laughs> that's probably the only version that should exist. I don't know. Mm. Uh, you got a own. problem with the way my people make their movies? A little, yeah. <clears throat> that's fair. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> So during the shootout in the lab, uh, Reeves gets uh, acid on her vest and she's got to take that vest off or else she'll get burned. Of course, of course. And then they just, they pour a liquid that was just in like a, like a glass. Yes. Who knows what that could Who been. knows what it was? By the way, the whole time this shootout is going on, Mittenhand is just seizuring out. Yeah, he's just like, Ugh. no one cares. Like Reeves looks at him for a second. He's like, Dr. Mittenhand, ah, I'll get back to you later. And he's like, Whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, he's got a <laughs> ball gag in. Yeah, he's yeah, got a ball gag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the one guy pr says there's nothing that they could do for him. So then they yeah. continue. There's and nothing they could do for him. Like, you want to put him out of his misery? He's spazzing out here. But they, they all miss him. But Leprechaun does use him as cover. Yes. Yes. I thought that was pretty funny. So, uh, they go into another room and I was like, why are they going into the other room? And then I realized it's for something that happens right afterwards. But the leprechaun oh, puts C4. You also skipped over the part with the needle. I said that. With they put hand. the needle in his head. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it was like the back of the head because they had to like hide it somehow. You're not paying attention? No. Are Just, you distracted by some hunky boys in I the am. studio? Oh, god damn it. Mm, I love you. Oh, you. Yay. 
You think this will squash the rumor that we're trying to get back together? No. I fucking hope so, man. No, it's going to start a new one with you two. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. I'm fine with that one. I forgot to make my uh, joke saying that I was very disappointed about the uh, head thing. Oh, that the wasn't needle. the eyeball? It wasn't the eyeball. Oh, yeah. I was like, the previ- what a missed The previous movie, he stabs a guy in the eye with a shillelagh, and I don't know. Uh, you like any eyeball stabbing? No. Or no. Right? Like, uh, that's why I hate the new Suicide Squad movie. Oh, it ends so with a giant eyeball being so stabbed. so good. Nah, the movie's good. I just don't like that part. It's um, fake, clearly. Like, it's not even like a real person. Oh, no. oh like, like getting stabbed in the eye in Leprechaun 3 was real? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so... The leprechaun puts, uh, and I'm not trying to get back to you, Johanna. Please, like, please, you can, you can verify for me, right? Sure. Okay. Cool. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Every other week, there's something like these two, and I'm like, guys. No, there genuinely isn't. Johanna and I are very much in love. She, you look, you look like you had that rehearsed. You're like, we are very much in love. I was given a script beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think's on this paper? He's actually a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> like, de- like dead silent. I'm gonna make him laugh. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so, uh, they put C4 on the sergeant somehow. And the leprechaun, leprechaun freezes magic, the man. sergeant somehow. Why can't he freeze all of them? I don't know. Uh, I, I have an explanation uh, for later. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say I have one too. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, shit, where am I at here? Okay. Uh, oh, the best part of the whole movie. Yes, the princess shows her boobs to all the marines. Now, I want Johanna to verify this. How many times did I ask her are they going to show boob in this movie when we watched last night? At least, like, ten times. I was very excited. Not a lot of boobs in this series. I saw boobs yeah. being shown meant that people were going to die. What a way to yes, go. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so, Joanna Man is very excited. He's like, Just whoa, like baby! And then she's That's, like... That was Ian. I, yeah. I, I stood up and clapped. <laughs> She was like, and she's like, he no. Never, he never gets to see any boobs. Ah, yes. That's right. We're uh, not married yet, so it's a sin. Now, if you pay her and... You, You'd have to give me $50 in Bitcoin or $50. You Louise. have to pay her, but you got to get pictures. But ver- like, make sure you tell her that uh, she doesn't have to show her face. That's the bird. <laughs> All the no guy- tattoos. Again, guys, if you DM the girls in your show, on the show, they're going to show me the DMs. Not only... And I love how every single time you guys are like, you don't have to show your face. So uh, I yeah, it didn't happen to me, just me. Now it's somebody else. Yeah. I'm not mentioning who. But I encourage this no because face. I am tired of paying for everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes, she shows her boobs, which is the princess's uh, version of like a death threat. Yeah, she's like, she's death like a whole sentence. speech of her just going back and forth. She calls herself the queen of the damned. <laughs> Go back and check out our Queen Watch of the Dam. Watch our review. Watch our Queen of the Damned episode. That would have been a lot cooler if that was way faster. <laughs> <laughs> we can edit it to be faster. That's fine. Oh my god. Uh, the leprechaun then dresses the sergeant up like a lady. Yeah. And he was, sings. That was interesting. And then he beats them up. Where'd they get the dress? I guess it's a magic dress. Uh, and wig and makeup. Yes, but well, in- they're, they're ladies on the ship, so of course they None of them were ma- wearing any makeup. I don't believe that for a second. Well, I mean, obviously it was subtle makeup or whatever, but like... Any amount of makeup can be used to make that. Well, listen, in Did between like, this, Shadow? in between this, we get our first glimpse of the mitten spider, and it's awesome. That is actually... Yeah, what that, the hell? Is that where the budget went? Because holy shit. <laughs> I think shit. so. I think so. That effect is pretty fucking cool. Like, that's genuinely... Really that was my awesome. favorite part. This is my favorite part. Yes. Uh, but then the sergeant brain... So his brain... It cuts back. The sergeant's brain is breaking down. And he has major mood swings. Uh, they fight him and kill him, and it turns out he was a cyborg. But they already knew he was a cyborg, but they think he might be a robot. Which is why I think the leprechaun was able to control him. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, he like reprogrammed yeah. him or something. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. I'll give you that. The exact same Finally, thing. We, f- we figured out a plot hole in Leprechaun 4 in space. <laughs> it, it took <laughs> it took over 20 years, but we did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Like, Back the movies. Really the, leprechaun, like the leprechaun sets up a self-destruct and he uh, heads to the cargo bay to get his gold. And he puts a little force field on the ship so they don't get away. Um, Styx, he like uh, runs away to stop the self-destruct, but Mitten Spider attacks him and webs him up. Doesn't kill him for some reason. Save all the Well, if you think about like a spider, like what they actually do, they'll mm. they'll like put the, the flies and stuff. He loves flies, by the way. Oh, yes. Adores them. Um, They'll put him in the web and they'll just let him chill. Yeah. They don't eat it right away. So it's like realistic. I, I guess. guess they wait for him to like calm down. 
Well, that's never going to happen, but... No. It's Juana. Uh, the princess um, freaks out because the leprechaun makes her look ugly. Yeah, it just puts, like, boils well, on well, her face. Well, because yeah. what happens is, like, the leprechaun, he's like, what happened to my gold? Why is it so tiny? And then in the most hard-hitting scene of the whole movie, she's like, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> And then she starts bragging about how hot she is. Like, yeah. I can have any man I want. Yeah, like, like, your gold is nothing. It's so tiny. Yeah, and then he makes her look ugly. And then he slaps her around with the shillelagh, as she, you do. She, um, she gets knocked out. Leprechaun tries to enlarge in his gold, uh, but he stopped. Enlarging? By, yeah, enlarging. That's not a word. I pulled a crystal. Enlarging? I pulled, I pulled a crystal, didn't I? Oh, my Lord. Enlarging. She got me back. She got me back. That's my character arch. <laughs> that's your Joker moment. Arch? Yeah, that's what she says. Oh. Um, that's, that's your Joker Did you mother. watch the Batman episode? Frank made fun of her. Mm -mm. <laughs> he was like, character arch? Ah. I want to see the movie first. You didn't see the movie yet? Not yet. I mean, why would you? They've already perfected Batman. Batman anyway. And Robin? Oh. The last good Batman movie was in 2006, right? You mean 19, Seven. You mean 1996? Okay. Your joke does it. It's 2008, you idiot. Was it 2008? It was 2008. Okay. I was in eighth grade. Literally 2005 and 2008. <laughs> you picked the two years in between. It's like the median. The last good Batman movie was in 2008. Yes. Yeah, so he makes the gold larger, uh, but he stopped he's by mad. Reeves and Books. Uh, the Dark Knight Rises now, is not this, a good movie. Shut up. <laughs> now, this scene, Ian, I think you could agree, a little gratuitous. Books gets shot in the shoulder, and this requires him to take his whole shirt the, off. Like, he gets shot in, like, this part of the shoulder right yeah. here. And he's like, I gotta take... And it's it's yeah. not even, like... Like a quick, like, I gotta, like, rip the sleeve no, off. The and, girl like, had it. the same scratch on her arm. Yeah, like, he took the vest off, and then he takes the shirt off and pats it. Yeah, like, I, I like you could, like, rip part of the shirt yeah, off. Say, to, like, yeah, tie the it bottom on. or, like, here, and no, then tie it. No, but it was clearly just a way to sexualize the actor, and it makes no sense, and I don't agree with it. Yeah, I, don't th think th I, I think this would probably be my least favorite part of Leprechaun 4. No, yeah. Because I, I that's don't... just gratuitous. He's a person. Yeah. He shouldn't have to be forced to stoop so long. No, it's it's stupid. So the the grow ray hits the leprechaun and now he's a giant leprechaun. What an oxymoron. And this yes, and this is on par I think with the queen fight from aliens. Um <laughs> On and par. Yeah, if yeah. someone came out in a robot suit, I would have. I probably would have gotten up and left. Oh, I bet. I bet you they were thinking about it. They were probably like, "Damn, if only we didn't spend the budget on Mitten Spider." <laughs> so the switch between the actual sets and the miniature ones are exceptional. Mm. Uh, let me see. Here. I like that. I I thought it was cool that they were like, "Let's make the same thing but small for Warwick Davis." Yes, and I like that the Leprechaun. Once he's big, the first thing he has to do is check his penis. Big is good. <laughs> and he's like, being big is good or something like that. <laughs> I guess, wouldn't you, if you became a gigantic monster, wouldn't you be like, well, is my penis bigger? Probably the same size for you too. Ouch. Okay, let me see here. I like, uh, now. <laughs> oh, uh, speaking of alien, uh, what's her face? Reeves is in the vents trying to get to sticks to help him and she gets attacked by mitten spider and it looks a lot like aliens and then her her pants get ripped off yeah, no he like grabs her pants and she just takes them off because he's grabbing her yeah and then she's in like a like a 1980s like a leotard, like leotard thing. yes and you know she had to get rid of those pants so she could be more aerodynamic to get to, it of, makes sense of course it makes yeah. sense you know and again it's to show how vulnerable she is and how she'll overcome the odds. Not the guy though, not books. No, that was that well, was that's just rude. That was sexualizing someone and mm -hmm. uh, very inappropriate. This is a mm -hmm. character building uh, declothing. I bet. So, yeah. this, uh, this it was it was good, good plot, good acting. Yes, yes. As I say, who are you? My name is Ian. <laughs> <laughs> So now that the leprechaun is big, he feels the need to make fun of short people. Yeah, I was like, wow, what a 180. <laughs> what a 180. He's like, come on, short ass. And he's like, yeah, because of short ass and stuff. Like, wow, you really, uh, your newfound height is really giving you an ego there. Um, <laughs> let me see here. Uh, so we finally get to see Mitten Spider in full. And it puts everything Rob Bottin did in the thing to shame. 
It looks amazing. It actually, <laughs> as much as I'm joking, the mint spider is. So it looks really cool. yeah, good. That, yeah, that's like genuinely the best part. Like, like, like I feel so like cool. whoever did that like knocked it out of the park. He's like, what's the rest of the movie look like? And he's like, oh god, I didn't have to try this. It, it, it was like it was like the intern that they were like, ah, I got to figure it out. Like, I'm really gonna make a good impression. The overachieving intern. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> You're like, I got to make a good impression. This is my gateway into the film industry. And then I'm they're like, what's it. the alien princess look like? And they're like, I just threw some glitter on a broad. I didn't know you were gonna make that. <laughs> A broad? What was this, 2003? <laughs> Were they saying broad in 2003? Oh, I was like seven. There's a show called Broad City. I, it's actually really good. I like Broad City. I like the first few seasons. I didn't watch the last few. I watched it all. I heard. I like weird. the one where she took LSD and um, <laughs> killed a cat. I don't remember that, that one. Neat. Her boss is Wanda Sykes. Yes. I did enjoy the early seasons of that show. Yeah, that show was actually really good. But if strong female women can call themselves broad, so can I. Um, what do you think, Broad? <laughs> <laughs> you call me mean things all the time. I'm getting away from this. Wait, no, Johanna, we already used the lightsaber. We, <laughs> we already got it. <laughs> Not the light shillelagh. <laughs> <laughs> so the main spider is attacking them, and she hits them with, like, liquid nitrogen or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, I, I mean, it has to be. It freezes. I guess, and it freezes them, and he, he quotes the original fly when they find the fly with the human head at the end of that movie, and it's like, help me! Yeah, I was like, why? Why is your voice all squeaky now? That's a reference to the original fly. They also do that in Beetlejuice. Yes, did you see the original The Fly? I've not seen the original The Fly. I haven't seen a lot of movies. I'm like kind did of... Did you ever see the remake of The Fly? I've never seen The you Fly. you ever seen the sequel to the remake, The Fly 2? We have a poster for it. What the... Eric Stoltz is in that. Who's, who's Eric Stoltz? He was, he was going to be Marty McFly, and he got cut out of uh, Back to the Future. I have seen that. Yeah, they started making it with Eric Stoltz, and they shot a lot of the movie with Eric Stoltz, and then they were like, nah, we're getting the other guy. And he ended up in The Fly too. I rewatched The Fly 1 the other day, and it's like, God damn, that movie still holds up. It's so fucking good. Not as good as Mitten Spider, though. So <laughs> Mitten Spider blows up, and I want you to remember this explosion. Because you're going to see it again yeah. soon. <laughs> you point that out. I did. I did point that out. It's pretty funny when it happens. <laughs> he literally was like, wait, didn't this already happen? Yeah. <laughs> so they pull the classic alien ending uh, and they blast the leprechaun out of the airlock. Very tense scene. I I, I thought he wasn't going to get I, out. I really enjoyed him grasping onto the doors. Yeah. Like you could tell that he's trying. He's really like the trying. princess watching and being like, oh. oh yeah, the princess is like coming too after being beat up and she's like, oh and she doesn't even care. She's like, ha ha. Hilarious. And, and she's like, oh, this is great. <laughs> gets, she, by the way, she still intends to kill her dad. Yeah. She doesn't really need him anymore. <laughs> uh yeah, so he gets thrown out uh, into space. And he warps. I don't know how they did that effect of him warping and that no was idea. really cool. And he explodes. And it's the mitten spider explosion, but like tinted like a little green, I <laughs> yeah. think. It, yeah, it's, it's not even like they like edited the background. You still see the ship at the starting <laughs> explosion. It's literally, inside. they like, <sighs> no, it's worse than uh, Star Trek Generations where they blow up. Worse, excuse me? Hold on, no. Um, in Star Trek Generations, they blow up a uh, bird of prey and the explosion is literally from the ending of the previous Star Trek movie. They just reuse the explosion. I would, I would, but at least then they waited I mean, yeah, a movie. It was a different movie. They didn't wait three <laughs> minutes and use the same explosion. <laughs> Ten minutes later. Oh, you know what else reminds me of? Mortal Kombat Annihilation, where uh, they throw rain into the fire pit, and then later in the movie, a Baraka falls into the fire pit, but then it's just rain again. <laughs> um, yeah, so the survivors, they figure out the password, and they stop it's the- It's wizard. It's Wizard. It's Wizard of Oz. Because yes. he made that whatever reference. He made that reference uh, once, and they just figured it out. Yes, and I bet you George Lucas was watching this. And he's like, Wizard, that's what all the kids are going to say in Phantom Menace. And one day, the Mandalorian <laughs> will say it, and Tony will roll the eyes into the oh, back of dude, his goddamn Oh, dude, that part was head. so cool when he said Wizard. That I was, part I was, was like, this is great. That was the most unwizard thing I've ever seen. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> uh... Yes, the uh, the leprechaun. Everyone's saved. They're all happy. Um, Books and the girl make out. Yeah, it's true. true. She's as, a little. As she's, soon as they figure out that it's a wizard, yeah. they all start cheering, and instantly it's on. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't you? I feel bad for Miguel. I mean, yeah, he's come on, man. 
Uh, but yeah, the then the leprechaun gives them a nice little. The leprechaun gives them a nice little goodbye in the form of a giant middle finger. They're, they're like, sure. you too, buddy. The one <laughs> finger. You slip. too, leprechaun. <laughs> Laugh track plays. Oh, the, the 2001 music is playing. It's like bum 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 yeah. bum bum. And, and then it just ends. Yeah, and it's over. That's it. That's it. I mean, what more is there to Goodbye. say? Seems like it's the end of me. Go back to Earth. I don't know. <laughs> a dude that Earth. like his parts are flying to the Earth. They need to do it now. Now, do you think they should do a special edition of this movie? It's already special enough. But they could add even more effects. No. They could. No. The, well, the leprechaun. No. Will, well, not add, but reuse the same effects. Yes. Uh, the leprechaun will like dodge all the <laughs> laser shots. Uh, more CGI first. in the background somehow. There'll, there'll be a million uh, slug monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Don't don't saying. forget about um, in the scene when Dolores and Kowalski are dancing. They'll yeah. have a a whole section dedicated to a singing band. Yes, a guy's <laughs> in the back room going, ah! <laughs> and you see the spit flying. They're making jizz. <laughs> they, they are jizz whalers. <laughs> jizz whalers. They are jizz whalers. <laughs> I um. Uh, Oh, oh, and you got to make uh, references to movies that hadn't come out yet. So, so when the leprechaun blows up at the end, he'll go, I should have never left the hood. <laughs> <laughs> or just yells, no. <laughs> no. They kind of set up for another leprechaun in space by having his like remains like going towards some type of like inhabited. That's not how whatever, this series works. It should have. No, no, because they could have had him go towards the earth to the hood. Because if they did. Yeah, and it could have been the same leprechaun. If they did leprechaun in space again, which I'm sure would be the title, it would just been a different <laughs> in leprechaun space in space. Again. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it'd probably be leprechaun five. <laughs> also space. Also space. Well, you know what? So they did do leprechaun returns, which is the first direct sequel to one of the movies, direct sequel to the first one. They should start doing direct sequels to all of them now. Leprechaun 2, part two. Leprechaun 3, back in Vegas. Leprechaun in space again. <laughs> Leprechaun, back to the hood, but not the other back to the hood, a different back to the hood. That'll be the back full to title. The, it's, it's, uh, Leprechaun, back to the hood to back the to hood that. again. <laughs> <laughs> back to the OG hood and then back to the other one. Oh my god. Uh, so, what do you guys think of Leprechaun 4 in space? Is it your favorite St. Patrick's Day film now? No. So, this is my biggest issue with the film. Okay. Uh, jokes aside, I like a good uh, movie that's bad, but it's it's still trying to be good. Think of like The Room or yeah. Troll 2. Things like that where they're not intentionally bad, but they have funny parts. <laughs> I feel like they tried too hard to make this bad. No, I don't think they're trying to make it. I think they knew what their budget was. I think they were just trying to have fun. I don't I, think they were trying I, and, to and make I, a bad I, movie. I like that, but like, you can definitely tell they were trying to be campy. They were trying to. It didn't have the funny. charm. It, yeah, maybe, it, but it's not. I it don't seemed put, soulless. I don't almost. put it. I don't put. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, there are. This movies, is high art. <laughs> this is trying to be high art. There are movies like that, but I don't think this is one of them. You're thinking of like a Sharknado. <laughs> Uh, shit like that. Yeah. No, like, like, I don't quite. Like, did this... I have a fun time? Yeah. Hell yeah. This yeah. movie's a blast. You just sit back on the couch, pop some popcorn. I mean, let's be honest. How, how fucking great could a Leprechaun in Space movie be? The answer is perfect. Like this film. <laughs> Disney, I want that Leprechaun I, I will world. say this is the greatest Leprechaun space movie I have ever seen. Yeah, of all the movies that feature a Leprechaun in space, <laughs> this is, one this of is them. the gold standard. Gold. Cause, oh! Cause Irish. Top of the morning for you. <laughs> Where's your hat? Oh, I took it off because my ears were getting a little hot. It is very hot in here, and I turned the air down. Sorry, I'll leave. It's true. So it's Ian's last episode, everyone. <laughs> welcome. I Not mean, like thank I you. Not anyway. welcome. Not welcome. Thank you for watching this uh, with us. Uh, Leprechaun 4 in space. Thank you for watching Hack the Movies, talking about tapes. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Patreon. Uh, go back in time and listen to our Leprechaun commentary tracks from before we were famous, famous. That was it, what, two years ago? Three? Oh, dude, it's like three. Four. No, that was like that was like 2019, Damn. 2018. No, that was like 2017, I think. Oh, we weren't even together yet. Mm -mm. No, wow. wait. 2018. 20. It was 2018. Yeah, because I remember. I remember. No, 2017. Of, yeah, because I, I Johanna and I weren't together yet. Yeah, I was, wasn't. I don't think I was here. I don't, I don't think you were yet. working a screenplay. Yeah. Because I, you know what, you know what it was. I didn't shoot that Cupid's arrow. That's true. That was that would have been a good See, joke for last month. 
Oh, that that would be a Photoshop I want to see. No. Someone Photoshop like with his ass out. <laughs> Someone Photoshop me <laughs> as as a cherub shooting a cupid's arrow. Please do not leave out the enormous amount of body hair on this man. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, so you can listen to that on Patreon. Uh, what else we got? P.O. Box, send us stuff. Voicemail. I'll I like it. stuff. Please, yeah, please, please, for Ian's please sake. send her the stuff. I'm so poor. <laughs> <laughs> she took all me gold. And uh, yeah, I guess Hapa, have a Hapa, Hapa, Havi, Hapa, Havi. <laughs> Uh, I do have a request happy as, St. as, Patrick's my, as my, my first time on Hack the Movies. Yes. Uh, bring back Castillo. I actually really like that. <laughs> when we have the time, <laughs> we will do it. <laughs> One day. I do want to watch the uh, Toho put out a short film, mm -hmm. like the Gigan thing. I want to yeah. check that out. So yes, we will bring back Castillo. Let me figure out my move. I'll be close to the office again. I'll get my time stuff under control. Mm -hmm. And we will do it. We finally got to do commentary tracks. I've been trying to do them for a year. <laughs> and if you want to see me in more episodes, I probably won't have it. <laughs> Ian, where can we find you? Leave comments. My house. <laughs> which Twitter. is, uh, Johanna lives at... <laughs> I, I have I have, I have, have all the socials, Twitter, Instagram. I'll give it to Tony. And look, Turn look, screen. look, look, look. Johanna's not answering your DMs. Slide in the ends. I'll do whatever you want for money, He's baby. better looking. Could you imagine just Ian's just like, hey, Joanna, I want to take some sexy pictures just for me. I promise. Then he just sells them. Online. No, I just walk into the bathroom and he's you see me like, counting the money. His, his ass is like up on the counter and he's like trying to take like a booty pic. I, I do have a better butt than Johanna. That you is have a, a fact. great ass. <laughs> on that note. What's unique about your ass? Ah, oh, there's two of them. Yes. And on that <laughs> note, yes, we will end the episode there. Just let you sit with that. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, that was really cute. You said Only if you're Catholic. If not, uh, if not, you're the devil. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talking about tapes.